I'm going to say something that's very, very important as we enter this next period. Okay. One of my subscribers to my newsletter, because I give call scripts for people to call their representatives. She wrote a comment and she said, you know, I don't know that I want to call my Republican Congress member because I'm afraid they're going to create an enemies list and I don't want to get on any enemies lists. And I want to say something, and this is something that is not original. I am quoting Timothy Snyder, who wrote a book on tyranny, which I highly recommend people read. But one of his top tips or pointers for combating tyranny and authoritarianism, which is what we're fighting now, is do not obey in advance. All right? What obeying in advance looks like is exactly what that reader said to me. I'm not going to call because I don't want to be put on an enemies list. And look, I don't want to be... I understand. I do understand. And if you are too afraid to do these things, I get it. But I also really want to ask that we all try right now to fight back. Because what is happening right now is that Donald Trump, with all of his absolutely horrific, destructive appointments, his attempts to confirm people who are utterly and completely not only unqualified for the jobs they are being appointed for, but are actually overqualified to tear down the departments that they are being put in charge of. What he's trying to do, and this is again not original to me, I read this somewhere this morning, it's like the velociraptors in Jurassic Park. They are testing the strength of the fences to see where the weak points are. Okay, so when we say, oh, well, it's already done. We can't fight this. Oh, it's already. No. Right now, what he is doing is saying, hmm, I wonder whether those Republican senators are going to roll over like I think they're going to. I wonder whether voters are going to be, you know, check out and go back to their Netflix and just let me dismantle the government. And yeah, they'll be mad about it next year, but it'll be too late for them to do anything about it at that point. Um, you know, I wonder whether the mainstream media talk about obeying in advance, Washington Post, Los Angeles Times, that's obeying in advance, right? Not writing editorials talking about the threat of Trump because they're afraid of what Trump will do if he wins, which he then did. Right now, I am going to ask everybody who can find the courage to do so to fight like hell. Say no now. Call your senators. I don't care if they're Republican or Democrat and say, don't you dare allow this man to appoint these unqualified and dangerous appointees. No. Call them and say no. We must let them know that we are here. Okay? There was an indivisible call last week, two days after the election. 147,000 people were on that call. People are not going to lie down and take this, but we need you to join us. And if you are someone who voted for Trump last week and already realized what a horrible mistake it was, or you voted third party and you already realized what a horrible mistake that was and it was, or you didn't vote and you're already realizing, oh my God, what have I done? Join us. We are not going to keep you out in the cold because we're angry at you. We are angry, but we need you too, right? You guys. We can fight this, but we have all got to join hands and do it now, not later. Call your senators. There is a script. I will put it in the TikTok call script document. Tell them no fucking way. No way. We may not win the fight, but if we don't make the fight, we're going to lose every fight after this. Fight with us. Sorry, but I don't want people giving up in advance. Do not obey in advance. Thank you.